YouTube. This is Michael, and I'm coming to you with my review of the Christmas tickets dropped by the Colorado Lottery this last Monday. They dropped five different denominations from $1 all the way up to $10. So we're going to see, did the Colorado Lottery grant us any nice gifts, or are they all lumps of coal? Let's take a look. Okay. The one dollar game called Winter Magic. It is a match the number. Um, there are auto win and five time symbols. Overall odds one in four point two zero, which is not bad for a one dollar game. Top prize at five thousand. Only three available, which is a little bit low. Um, highest prize you can expect in a pack is ten dollars at one in two hundred odds. There are three hundred tickets in the pack. You should find four seventy five. You should find seven $4 winners, 23 $2 winners, and 35 $1 winners. That makes your effective odds of winning 1 in 4.29. The effective pack payback is $139 out of 300, which leads to an effective payback percentage of 46.33%. Because of that, and a few other things, I only break this score, this game a score of 4.5 out of 10, which does land it on the naughty list. $2 game is called Happy Holiday. It is also a match and win, but you only have auto win and win all symbols. Overall odds are 1 in 4.05. A little high for my taste, but that does seem to be the going rate for $2 games these days for Colorado. Top prize is only ten grand, which is half of normal. Um, highest prize you can expect in the pack. Of these is twenty dollars at one in a hundred, hundred tickets in the pack. Um, odds of fifty are pretty good at one in four forty two. Odds of forty are okay, one in two thirty one. Uh, I don't like the odds for ten. It's also one in a hundred or one per pack. Um, four four dollar winners in the pack, and of course a bunch of two dollar winners, eighteen of them. One thing I do not care for is the fact that there is no five dollar prize level. Um, your effective odds of winning are 1 in 4.17. Your effective pack payback is 82 bucks out of 200, which is a paltry 41% effective payback percentage. For that reason, largely, plus the other negatives I mentioned, this is the worst scoring game of the batch at 3.5 out of 10, and it is most definitely on the naughty list. Although you'll probably see me play one or two of them just as a cheap budget filler. Alright, we turn now to the $3 game. It's called Deck the Halls, and here you're trying to get one of several symbols. You have the plain win symbol, or what I call an auto win. Then you have two times and five times multiplier symbols, and then there's an instant $20 winning symbol. Overall odds on this game are really good, 1 in 3.13. Top prize is that weird little 35000 they like to drop during the holidays, which I don't care for. It's just, that's just my personal quirk. And I also don't care for the fact there's only two of them. Okay. Um, top prize you can expect in a pack is 20 bucks, 1 in 84. Um, should find two ten dollar winners, six five, and a whole bunch of threes, twenty two threes. Um, the odds of winning fifty though are really good, one in three hundred and twenty. Odds of hitting forty not so good, one in two fifty, but not on the cruddy side. Okay. Your effective odds of winning are one in three point two three. The effective pack payback out of a possible three hundred, you're only going to get back. 136 normally, which amounts to 45.33%. I'm a little disappointed with that. I think the lottery could have done better. I ranked this game a 4 out of 10. I could have made it 4.5, but the other negatives, specifically the low number of top prizes, and honestly, I was a little disappointed with the $40 prize being a little harder to get at 1 in 250. Um, those two factors, I graded a 4 out of 10, it could have been a 4.5, um, 
Either way, it lands on the naughty list again. All right, $5 game called Holiday Payout. It's a bad play on words. Five times, ten times, and win all symbols. Overall odds are 1 in 3.71, which is a little on the high side for a $5. Uh, top prize is 100 grand, two available. Um, odds of hitting 500 are a little up there, 1 in 21.43, although for a $5, that, that's not overly tragic. Um, top prize you can expect is 50 bucks at 1 in 50. It's actually hard to win 20 and it is 50. So you should get one $50 winner, one $20 winner. Chances are most packs will have two dollar win two ten dollar winners, but you are only guaranteed one with the one in thirty four odds, which is something I don't like. And your odds of winning five dollars are a flat one in five, which means most of the time you're going to get five dollar winner. Okay. Um, your effective odds of winning are a flat one in four. The effective pack payback out of a possible three hundred. It's 140. The effective payback percentage is 46.67%, which, you know me, 50% is my usual guaranteed minimum. So, I think this game could have done a little better, honestly. I'm giving it a score of 4.5 out of 10, which is on the naughty list. In all reality, it's probably sh this one probably should be a four, and the three dollar one should be a four and a half. Either way, they're both on the naughty list. Finally, we get to the ten dollar game, and this is going to go by two names depending on which background it's on. Um, the one that's going to run through Christmas is going to be called Quarter Million Dollar Holiday Delight. After Christmas, after the New Year. I would imagine it will go to quarter million ritzy riches. Either way, it's the same game, game number 218, and it's the $10 holiday ticket. There are 10, 20, and 50 times symbols. Overall odds are 1 in 3.64, and I should point out there is a second chance drawing for an additional quarter million dollar prize. Um, there are three instant quarter million prizes. I do like the fact that there's a bonus prize level of 100,000. Okay. There are a lot of different claimer prize levels, too. There's seven different claimer prize levels. Low end of 1,000 all the way up to the quarter million. There just aren't very many claimers, period. There's a grand total of 45 claimers. Out of a possible one point. Four, four million tickets. Okay. Um, odds of winning 500 are worse on this game than they are on the $5 holiday. Um, odds of 100 are 1 in 211, which is also a touch high. Um, there is one, the highest win you can expect in a pack is 50 bucks. One per pack. Um, two 30s, four 20s, and nine tens. Okay. Um, your expected odds of winning are 1 in 3.75. The expected pack payback is 280 bucks out of a possible 600. And your expected payback percentage is 46.67. At the $10 level, we really should be getting over 50% payback. So, um, for that reason, I put the score at 4 out of 10, and it's definitely on the naughty list. So, overall, the Colorado Lottery could have put out much better as far as holiday games go, but I do like the fact that, you know, there's symbols in every game, and for the first time in probably at least 10 years, the dollar holiday ticket is not a round up eight tiny reindeer. You know, it's a cute idea, but that format has gotten so stale, so I'm glad they've changed it up. Okay, if you, as always, if you like the content, if you want to continue to review new tickets as they drop, 
please leave a like, leave a comment. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I do appreciate you watching, and we will